Greetings ladies and gentlemen, welcome to what you call, I guess, a mod tutorial for the Tough as Nails heating system, heat, body heat, cooling system. If you follow my channel, you know I've been playing the scenario, the modded scenario, Forever Stranded lately. And the body heat system in that is from a mod called Tough as Nails. Now, the documentation for both Forever Stranded and for Tough as Nails do state some things about this temperature system, but as I found out while trying to play that mod pack, it is much more complicated than it seems on the surface. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and read up on this, I dove into the source code to figure out exactly how it really does work. So if you've been having trouble understanding how to cool down in Forever Stranded or how to stay warm, when playing with the tough as nails, then I'm here to tell you exactly how that works. So first of all, what you should know is that there is a command. It is slash T-A-N for tough as nails temp info. That will tell you some things. But it's not very obvious what that actually means. So currently I am in creative mode. But if I go ahead and go game mode survival here and switch myself into survival mode, you will see that if we get rid of this text, uh, I'm a little bit blue on the temperature meter, and that means I am getting a little bit cold. Now you can see the target says 8 out of 6 on the left hand side there, and there's also a bunch of modifiers and a rate ticking up. So what is all of this stuff? Well, first of all, there is a number of factors that can contribute to your current body heat. And your current body heat is sort of slowly following a target, and that's what you see up there, target 8 out of 6. Now that means my current body temperature is 8, and my body temperature is trying to get to 6. Now take a look at the temperature sensor, it has an arrow down right there, and why I knew that that would pop up right then is because my rate ticked up to hit the target rate. And so it ticked down 1 and now says 7 and 6 at the top. So my body temperature is trying to get down to 6, and it will tick one step closer to 6 every time my rate hits its ceiling, which it's going to do when it hits 1000 again. So there are two important factors. One is the surrounding heat that your body is trying to adapt to, and one is the rate at which it does so. Now, in order to fully understand this system and how to play with it, you have to understand the sad fact that almost everything interacts with both the target and with the rate. So, for instance, If I give myself a water bucket, and we'll pour that in the middle of this tree, you will see that I now get wet. Adds a minus 7 modifier, and my target is suddenly minus 3. But look at the rate. The rate has massively dropped down to 371. So that means that when I am in water, not only do I get cooler, I also adapt to the temperature more quickly. And that goes even if I am warm enough that I would warm up. So that means that water does not necessarily cool me off quicker, it makes me change temperature quicker and it also cools me down a little bit, which may or may not be enough. So if we take a look at the available things that can affect your temperature, they are the equilibrium, which is plus 12, that's sort of the gray area on your ball, that's where you start basically, that's 12. For whatever reason, that's 12 rather than 0, and I don't even... I don't even... Then there is time. On my list to the left there is time. Plus 3. Time of day has an impact on the temperature. I think it goes between minus 4 to 4 or minus 5 to 5 or something like that. Time of day obviously means that in the middle of the day it's warmer and in the middle of the night it's cooler. Altitude. So if I switch myself into game mode creative here and I go up a bit then you'll see that the altitude number starts dropping. So the higher up I am, the lower the temperature gets. Except not really. So if we go back down, now the altitude one disappeared because it's zero. And if I start digging down, you'll see that altitude also starts to kick in. So if I'm too far down, see where it is, so I think it's 64 or something? Yeah, it's around 64 then the altitude uh, is zero, and if I get too far up or down from that, then it starts to become cooler. So it's never warmer because of altitude, it's just cooler. Then there is a season. There are seasons in this mod pack. If you don't 
know which season it is. You can look at the leaves of things and you can detect by the temperature. There's also in-game items that you can make to detect the season. Now, the season can reduce the temperature or it can increase the temperature depending on if it's winter or if it's summer. And you also see biome temperature up there, of course. The biome you're in matters. Now I'm in a cold biome here with the snow. It's minus seven. But if I start going out here over the swamp, we'll see that it's... Yeah, now the biome temperature is positive. The biome temperature doesn't just take into account the biome where you're at, but also the biomes that are right behind you. So there's sort of a smooth transition. You can see that it goes to one and then goes to zero as I go into this forest here. Then there's your state. If you are sprinting, then you get plus three in your target. So sprinting is a way to keep warm. Or sprinting will overheat you, depending on your current situation, if you're trying to warm up or cool down. You might want to do it, or you might not want to. And then, of course, as I mentioned, if you do get wet, you also get cooler. And that also goes for raining and especially snowing. What you're wearing also affects your target. So if you're wearing the wool armor added by this mod, you will warm up. And if you're wearing the congealed slime armor added by this mod, then you will cool down. Finally, blocks in your environment can also affect how warm or cold you are. There are four blocks that are warm and one single block that is cold. That is, campfires are warm, they're added by this mod, and so are the heating coils added by this mod. However, there are also two vanilla blocks that are warm, that is lava and fire. Just like the heating coil is warm, there's also a cooling coil that is cool. What a shock. So those are all the factors that can affect your target temperature. That is, the temperature that your body is trying to adapt to generally slowly. As we can see, it takes 1100 ticks for my rate to hit its ceiling. And that's when it ticks over and adapts to the target one step. But the rate is affected by all kinds of things as well, which makes this system extremely hard to read. So, for instance, the biome humidity impacts this. As far as I can tell, the way this works is the higher the humidity of your biome, the longer time it will take for your body to adapt to the surrounding temperature. Which I don't know if that's reasonable or not, but that's the way it works. As I mentioned at the very beginning, water has a massive impact on rate. If you are wet, then your rate is very quick. This is probably to simulate the fact that you get cooled down very quickly when you go into water, but it has some nasty side effects when you're in very, very hot climates. For instance, in Forever Stranded, you are always in the desert. When you're in the desert in the summer, in the, the sun of the midday, there is basically no way to cool down at ground altitude without the slime armor. This means that if you get into water at that point, you will try to cool down, but what actually happens is you warm up quicker. Sprinting also affects your rate, so if you sprint, you will adapt to the target temperature quicker. And finally, your health will also impact your heat rate, which means that if you are very low on health, you will adapt to cold or hot conditions quicker. And so why is all of that important? Well, because... At the extreme low and high temperatures, in your body temperature, you will actually start taking damage. Hypothermia and hyperthermia. That happens at 23 and I think 1. So when you are 11 points of heat away from the central gray area, from the equilibrium at 12, you start taking hyperthermia or hypothermia, depending on if it's warm or if it's cold. And so that was all of that. If you can keep all of that in mind, you can actually manage your heat fairly well. However, it's so incredibly far from obvious, and while I appreciate the idea of adding body heat with a mod, this one is a little bit dense in how it does it, and it really needs some kind of better documentation on how it actually works, because it seems that they're trying to keep it a bit of a mystery, and that, in my experience as a game designer, is a mistake. So I hope this video helped you out a little bit if you're having trouble regulating your body heat. My name is Sliced Lime, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Take care, bye-bye.